RC and RL transient. Uh, so we'll be solving problems with the uh, RL RLC transients. So basically, a transient behavior is um, essentially observed when um, when a uh, voltage or a current source is connected to a circuit with um, with capacitors or inductors. Okay, so I have selected a, a couple of problems here. So problem number one. So these are the formulas basically that I found in the FE book. So I just collected them. So these are the formulas that we're going to need for RC over here and RL transients over here. So we're going to, I'm going I'm to be flipping back and forth. Okay. All right, so problem number one, the initial voltage across the capacitor is 5 volt. At T equals 0, switch is closed. The switch is closed at T equals 0. And the question is to find the voltage across the capacitor 10 microseconds after switch is closed. Okay, so... Um, voltage across the capacitor 10 microseconds so we're going to be using this particular formula over here okay so vc so we have what do we have here i have to memorize this uh picture that okay so we have vct So this is what we have, VCT is equal to VC0 E minus T R C plus V1 minus E minus T R C. Let's verify that one more time. Yes, that's correct. Okay, so V sub T here, V V C um, of zero is when the switch is closed. So over here that would be uh, the initial voltage that would be five volt. R is of course um, so this is ohms actually. That's a resistor not a capacitor. Let me erase that. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, so V sub VC at 10 microseconds, that's the question. So they will this will be 5 E minus 10 over R is 10 1 now notice we don't have to convert anything because um, on top here we have microfarads and at the bottom we have microfarads so they cancel each other out so we don't have to um, convert anything in, in one common unit here but otherwise we would have okay plus v is 10 volt over there over there so 10 1 minus e to the power minus 10 over um 10 1. cleaning that up so we have vc is equal to 5 e to the power minus 1 plus 10 Ooh, yeah, 1 minus e to the power 1. And then we just use a calculator to get the answer there. So this will be a numerical value. I should probably should just get it. Okay, let's see. Okay, so I have 8.16. Okay, so it's it's not 
bad at all. We just need to find out what's what and what the question is asking and just plug it in. Okay, problem number two. The switch is closed at 10 equals zero. What's the voltage across the inductor at T equals 30 milliseconds? So we're dealing with inductors here, so RL transients. And so we are over here on this part and the question is voltage. All right, so we are going to use this one over here, minus I zero R E T blah blah so okay so we have VL of T is equal to minus I zero R E minus R T over L plus V E minus R T over L let me double check if that's that. One more time. V R L T. Okay, got it right. Okay. Okay, so now uh, voltage across the inductor at 10 equals, uh, I mean, at T equals 30 milliseconds. So we know what T is. We know what R, not R, what is R? Yeah, we know what R is, is 26 ohms. We know what L is, 500 millihenries. So we pretty much know everything here. Voltage is 100 volts. Um, and the initial current here is, um, that should be zero because at T equals zero, uh, it's an open circuit, okay? So I sub zero is equal to zero and therefore this whole thing goes away, okay? So VLT or maybe VL at 30 milliseconds becomes so this is zero this thing goes to zero this is equal to zero rather um, because it's an open circuit at t equals zero remember the switch is closed closed at t equals zero so when t equals zero the switch is closed and we have an open circuit okay so that would be zero and so we have hundred V is 100, E to the power minus R T, which would be 26 times 0.003. So we have 26. I have to convert that to um, in seconds over. L is 500 millihenries, so that's 0.5. We didn't have to convert anyway because we have millis and millis. They should, they would have canceled out. But anyway, it's okay. It's 0.5. Okay. All right. So that we just have to plug it um, in the calculator and get our answer. So that would be e to the power twenty six times. Okay, so that's twenty six volt. That's what I got. Okay, so V L is equal to. 26 volt. Okay, so here the only thing um, to bear in mind here is uh, to pretty much um, get this to equal to zero and recognize that <clears throat> it's an open circuit at t equals zero. So once we have that, the rest is pretty straightforward. We just plug it, um, plug in the uh, the values that we have that are given. Okay. All right, problem number three here. The switch in the circuit is closed at T equals zero. How long will it take to charge the capacitor to 80% of the battery voltage? Interesting, okay. 
So what is the formula? We deal with our, we are um, with RCs because capacitors. So we are going to use this particular formula over here. Okay. So so VC T is equal to VC zero e to the power minus T R C plus V one minus E to the power minus T R C. Let me double check. C zero. Okay, that's what I've got. Okay. So um, the initial voltage of the capacitor is zero because the, the circuit is initially open. So this is equal to zero. So that's gone. So now what we have is that um, how long will it take? So we are, they're asking us to find the time it'll take to charge the capacitor to 80%. So this would be 0 0.8. That's the 80%. And then we have what we have left is 1 minus E. Um, we don't know what T is, of course, because that's what they're asking us to find. Um, and so RC would be this would be over RC R um, why do I keep putting microfarads in resistors oh gosh sorry because I'm just turning in and trying to find the resistor and I see microfarads that is not right it's ohms Okay. Okay, so now we have uh, minus T R is hundred and fifty times C is hundred microfarads. So this would be minus six. Okay, so this is just math from here. Um basic math. So 0.8 um, so uh, we have 0.2 is equal to E just to kind of get rid of the mi minus signs minus signs we have minus T over whatever that is 150 times Point zero fifteen. Point zero fifteen. Okay, so to find T, uh, we can just use the uh, the log. So uh, we can take the log of both sides. So we have ln of point two. And this would come down, so it'll be minus T over 0 0.015. And of course, from here is easy. So T is equal to um, ln of 2 times that. So I already have 0 0.015 in the calculator times ln of 0.2. Where the hell is it? ln. Point two. Okay, so I have point zero twenty four. Point zero twenty four. Seconds or twenty four milliseconds. Okay. 
Okay, so the only thing here again is that the uh, initial voltage of the capa on the capacitor is zero because the the circuit is initially open because uh, they they said um, that the switch in the circuit is closed at um, a t equals zero. So initially it was already open. Is initially open. Okay, and they close it at t equals zero. So originally it was open, and so the voltage, the initial voltage, is already zero. Okay. All right. Last problem here. The initial voltage across the capacitor is two point five. So here is not zero. The switch is closed at t equals zero. What is the current at t equal equals zero seconds? Yeah, that's not a five. Yeah, it's zero seconds. Okay. So what do I have here? Um, I have a capacitor and a resistor. Oh, I got it right today. <laughs> okay, so um, let's go to the formula places. Um, okay, what formula am I gonna use? Um, what's the question again? Current. So the current is asked. And so we are um, going to use this one right here. So let's write that down first. So IT is equal to, oops, um, it was voltage, if I remember. Let me write whatever I remember and then go back VC0 over R. E minus T R C. Let's see here. Yeah, that's correct. V minus V C of zero times E minus T R C. Okay. That's multiplication here. All right. So current, we are asked to find current. Um, so I think it's pretty straightforward here. We already know the initial voltage. So uh, V C of zero, that's two point five. Uh, v is equal to five here. R is one, and the capacitor is one microfarad. So that's easy. So I at t equals zero. So I zero is equal to 5 minus um, VC uh, that's the uh, that's 2.5 over R 1 times e to the power minus oh that's 0 so that's 1 e to the power 0 is 1 so this is 1 over here well yeah let me just put 0 here so because t is equal to zero, that's the question here, at t equals zero. So i of zero is 2.5 amps. Okay, so I, I think um, RC and R, um, RL transient problem related are pretty straightforward. You just have to recognize what the initial voltage is and just plug it um, into the equations and find whatever they're asking us. I mean, I haven't came across, um, I haven't come across challenging problems related to RC and RL, frankly. So um, whenever you have any questions, you can ask, but um, I have not really found any, any issues really with, with those, with the RCs and all. They're pretty straightforward, I think. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. You can drop them in the comment sections or you can just write me um, um, in emails or whatever, okay? Thanks and see you later.